I'm Mikhail Guto with Cal TV, and welcome to A Day in the Life with Cal Lightweight Crew. Cal Lightweight is Berkeley's premier rowing organization, and they compete at a national level with a rigorous training regime. As a non-athlete at the school, I want to know what it was like to be part of a sports organization. So I thought, what better way to do that than spending a day in their shoes and seeing what it's all about. It's currently 4.20 a.m. There is zero light outside. But I'm about to go practice with the light rate road too. Ready, we're changed. Let's see what's about to happen. Before I was actually ready to practice though, I needed to learn some of the basics about crew. The team very politely offered to show me around the facility located in the Oakland Estuary and teach me some of the basics. Rowing is not a simple sport, and there was a lot to understand before I was ready for the water. Starting with the technique. This is Guion, team captain, and that's an erg machine. Erg machines are like the single most important thing for rowers because it simulates being in the water, so I needed to learn. Grab the handle, uh -huh. and uh, extend your legs, uh, lean your back, going ten degrees back, and then pull your hands all the way. All right. All right. Yeah, that's how to finish. Arms only. Arms only. Okay. Yeah. After getting some reps in with the team, I was feeling pretty confident about my skills and I was ready to test them out in the water. I got fitted with an oar and it was go time. Where's my phone? Somewhere. <laughs> Somewhere, down there. Somewhere down there. Maybe one day we'll get it. Up the shoulders in two, one, two. My first few strokes were honestly pretty tough, but after a while, I did start to get the hang of it. I'm not gonna say I was good or anything, but like, if your girl was watching, she'd be like, oh, he looks like he looks kind of athletic out there, you know what I mean? So we hosed that bad boy down, put her to rest, and with my newfound skills, I was ready for the real thing. It's so dark, can you see anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. One of the earliest days of my entire life. <laughs> I had to drink an incubating amount of coffee. <laughs> but now that we're here, I think I'm ready. I think, you know, it's like a good vibe. It's like these guys are working hard, so it should be good. This is Coach. He's in charge of the team. And he told me on this morning I would be steered, or what people in the rowing community call a cot. Right side. That'll avoid the stuff on the left, and then there's also little, little poles, that's wooden poles that stick out in just this section of the waterway. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Coxswains, I'd say, um, marginally have the most <laughs> impact on the shell. They're essentially like a mini coach in the boat, so they have to be they have to be well versed in all the technical aspects. In addition, they are responsible for steering and the safety of the of the crew members. So, if a keel messes up, does that mean that theoretically the ship could go down? 35k when we bought it, 40k. Um, so he's got a lot of responsibility, and if if he hits something, we could very possibly go down. Can you put the flashlight on your face real quick? I just want to have everyone have to see this. So as you can see right now, they're uh, about to get in the water. I'm about to get in with them. Will we make it? I don't know. I'm steering. Uh, directions are not my specialty. If uh, any of these members get... Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. <laughs> I can't. The start of the morning was very cold and very, very dark. Which is probably a good thing it means no one could see how bad I was at steering. We did some drills. I was telling the team some commands, you know, using terminology only an expert like myself would understand. Eventually, we started moving on the water, and I have to note that being in the water during the sunrise was one of the greatest things in my entire life. The keels are blocked up for the woman's aid in front of you, so if you need to move to the right, move to the right slightly. Keel doing a good job, bro. <laughs> And run it in a keel about 10 more strokes and those way off in the first minute. Yeah, you can actually see him now, which is awesome. Yeah, look at your boy. Smiling, 
cheesing, like I'm doing something important. Honestly though, I was just happy to be there. Near the end of practice, they started to go full speed. But honestly, there's nothing I can even say here. I'll just let these guys and their skills speak for itself. Practice came to an end and everything had to go back. And honestly, respect to these guys because that is not easy. It is. Addy, what do you think about this experience? My thoughts are that it's really fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really cool and it's a really cool way to start your morning. I yeah, I agree. Why they let me tell them what to do, I don't know. But <laughs> I have a lot of respect. These guys are very talented. And strong, oh my god. So cool. Speaking of strength, the day was not over. I headed for a private workout in their lightweight training center where I saw them lift, grind on the earth machine, and I saw the immense history they had all over their walls. I even got to work out myself a bit. Overall, it was pretty intense and it made me gain a lot of respect for them considering their crazy lives. Anyways, back to the morning. <laughs> you did a good job. Thank you, yeah. Pretty solid all the way around, I think. It looked way smoother than it has in a really long time. Uh, catches, we're getting better. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's that's a three, one, two, three, go! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, how was your first time out in the water? Um, yeah, first practice is over. Um, I was a little nervous, but you know, once I got the beads going, mm -hmm. it was feeling pretty good. They're strong. That's my main <laughs> concern. Like they were going at a 30 speed. I don't think I could keep up for more than 10 strokes max. You get to test out your skills. Yeah, no. Oh god, if I test out my skills, it would, it would not have been standing. No, it's 7 a.m. Like, you know, we got a whole day left. A lot of pros. So I guess join Cal Lightweight Rowing. Are you ready to would you join Cal Lightweight Rowing after this? Me. Um, I don't know about my skills being on. Would you let him join Cal Lightweight Rowing? <laughs> okay, I guess it's settled. Now you have to go to the second part of practice, which is a, There's two, a second part. A two-hour crows trip. Oh, oh right, I can yeah. do that. So Those are I can do that. <laughs> you should join Calais Way Rowing. Um, every single morning after practice, the whole team comes here for crew. I mean, for breakfast. That's true. And, we do do that. Um, we all sit on one of those really long tables over there, <laughs> and we eat breakfast for like at least an hour. Or Crow's review. Well, obviously, Crow's has a has a bad reputation after months of eating yogurt and fruit snacks. It's pretty good. It's like it's a pretty good meal. Generally. Do you not go grocery? After the Crow's session, which was extremely fire, by the way. I had time to look back and reflect on my day with the team. They're obviously very talented okay. and some exceptional athletes, but the thing that stood out to me was how kind and welcoming of a group of people they were. I honestly enjoyed every single second and I really wish I could go back. So, if you're looking to get some exercise in the water, see some fire sunrises, and spend time with a fun group of people, you should join our Lightweight Crew.